Directions for the Future How to Understand the Bible Let's suppose that you are driving to a very important appointment. It's urgent. The president of one of America's leading corporations has offered you a valuable position. 60 miles from your destination, you doubt whether you will make it on time. You are not even sure whether you are going in the right direction. You stop to ask for help. Each of the people you ask gives different directions. Totally confused, you become hopelessly lost. In your desperate search to find the address, you ask a gas station attendant. Fortunately, he not only knows the way but also gives you a map with explicit directions. With your confidence, you set out assured of your destination. You make the appointment precisely on time. God has given us directions for the 21st century. The most important directions in life involve getting from earth to heaven. The most important appointment in life is to be ready to meet Christ when He returns. There is no second chance on eternity. To miss an eternity with Christ is to meet life's most important appointment. Yet multitudes have taken wrong religious directions. They are helplessly lost on the road of life. With no religious map to guide them, they are confused. They have searched for truth and their own and have come up empty. They have listened to misguided voices and their desperate search has led nowhere. They are on the wrong road and they know it. Where can we find a reliable map? Are there directions to guide us confidently through the 21st century? There are. The Bible provides clear information. It represents understandable answers to the deepest questions of the human heart. Questions such as, How can I be certain of eternal life? If God is so good, why is the world in such a mess? How can I have peace of mind? How can I become the person I really want to be? What happens five minutes after death? What is the ultimate solution to stress? Are we living at the end of human history? How will the world end? These lessons are especially designed to answer your questions directly from the Bible. You can place your confidence in God's Word. If you have never studied the Bible before, you are in for a rich reward. God's Word will give you encouragement and hope as you seek for life's deepest meaning. If you are an experienced Bible student, These lessons will lead you deeper into the truths of God's Word. The first lesson, entitled How to Understand the Bible, unlocks the hidden secrets of understanding the Bible for yourself. The Bible was written over a 1,500-year period. It contains 66 books written by about 40 different authors. The Bible authors deal with the most difficult and controversial topics imaginable, yet they agree. They do not contradict one another. These writings give evidence of divine inspiration. There is one central message throughout the Bible, Christ the Savior of humankind. The Bible story begins in Eden, God's perfect world, and ends in Eden. God's perfect world restored. Before sin entered the world, God communicated directly with Adam and Eve. Sin separated our first parents from God. Today, face-to-face fellowship with God is no longer possible. Still, the heart of our loving God longs to communicate with the planet in rebellion. Let's discuss how. Question 1. How does God communicate with a fallen race? 
2 Peter 1 verse 21 For prophecy never came by the will of man, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. 2 Peter 1 verse 21 God spoke through the Holy Spirit and inspired the prophets to write down His messages. Although they recorded these messages in their own words, the message of the Bible comes directly from God. The Bible is God's Word. Question 2. Since the Bible was written by human beings, how much of it is actually inspired by God? 2 Timothy 3.16 All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. 2 Timothy 3.16 Both the Old Testament and the New Testament are inspired by God. The Old Testament consists of the first 13, 39 books of the Bible from Genesis to Malachi. It reveals God's plan for His people before Jesus' birth. The New Testament, the last 27 books of the Bible, from Matthew to Revelation, reveals the birth, life, death, and resurrection of Jesus. It especially describes God's instructions to His church today. Question 3. Since scribes copied the Bible repeatedly throughout the centuries, is it still reliable today? How long will the Word of God survive? Isaiah 40 verse 8 The grass withers, the flower fades, but the Word of our God stands forever. Isaiah 40 verse 8 The same Holy Spirit who inspired the Bible has preserved it throughout the centuries. Recent archaeological and historical discoveries have further confirmed its accuracy and reliability. Here are just a few examples of archaeological discoveries that confirm the truthfulness of the Bible. The Rosetta Stone, discovered in 1799 in Egypt by Napoleon's scientists, was written in three languages, hieroglyphics, demotic, and Greek. It unlocked the mystery of hieroglyphs and helps to confirm the reliability of the Bible. The Moabite Stone, discovered in 1868 at Devden, Jordan, confirms the Moabite attacks on Israel as recorded in 2 Kings chapter 1 and chapter 3. The Luckiest Letters, discovered in 1932 to 1938, 24 miles north of Bathsheba in Israel, describes the attack of Nebuchadnezzar on Jerusalem in 586 BC and confirms the truthfulness of Jeremiah and Ezekiel's prophecy. The Cyrus Cylinder records Cyrus' overthrow of Babylon and the deliverance of the Jewish capture, as recorded in Daniel 5 and prophesied in Isaiah 44 and 45. The Dead Sea Scrolls discovered in 1948, date back to 150 BC. They contain portions of the entirety of every Bible book in the Old Testament. More than a half century of study by the world's best linguist scholars confirms the accurate transmission and copying of the Bible text. Question 4. What was God's purpose in giving us the Bible? Psalm 119 verse 105 Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Psalm 119 verse 5 God's word is like a flashlight. When you are in a dark place, the flashlight's beams penetrate the darkness, provide, providing light on the path ahead. The Bible enlightens our understanding. Question 5. What is the source of God's truth? John 17:17. 17, 17. Sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth. John 17:17. 17, 17. Question 6. With so many people interpreting the Bible differently, is it possible to know truth? 
John 8:32. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. John 8, verse 32. Question 7. What is the first principle of understanding the Bible correctly? 2 Peter 1, verse 20. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of Scripture is of any private interpretation. 2 Peter 1, verse 20. We avoid private interpretation by letting the Bible explain itself. The Bible is its own interpreter. By allowing one passage of Scripture to explain another, we discover God's interpretation. Question 8. What attitude is essential in understanding Bible truth? John 7:17. 7, if anyone will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God. Or whether I speak of myself, John 7:17. 7, An understanding of the Bible largely depends on a willingness to do whatever God requires. Bible study is not simply a mental exercise. It is a hard experience. If you are willing to do whatever God asks you in His Word, He will guide you into all truth. Question 9. Why do some people have a lot of difficulty understanding Bible truth? Isaiah 53 verse 6 and 2 and 2 Corinthians 4 verse 4. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Isaiah 53 verse 6. Whose minds the God of this age has blinded who do not believe, lest the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine on, on them. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 4 Understanding the Bible is difficult for some people because of their unwillingness to give up their own ideas. God invites us to seek His way, not our own. He invites us to turn from the pride of our own understanding to humble acceptance of His revealed will in His Word. If we cling to our own ideas, our eyes will be blinded by the evil one. Question 10. What does the Bible tell us we should do to understand truth? Acts 17 verse 11. These were more fair-minded than those in Thessalonica. In that they received the Word with all readiness and searched the scriptures daily to find out whether these things were so. Acts 17 verse 11. It is very important to study the Bible for yourself. You can rely on what others tell us. God invites you to go on a personal discovery of truth from His Word. The Bereans daily search the Word of God for themselves to discover truth. Question 11. If God is guiding us into truth when we study the scriptures, what method of Bible study will be especially helpful in discovering God's truth? Isaiah 28 verse 9 and 10 and 1 Corinthians 2 verse 13. Whom will he teach knowledge and whom will he make to understand the message? Those just win from milk? Those just drawn from the breast, Isaiah 28 verse 9. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little, there a little, Isaiah 28 verse 10. These things we also speak not in words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 13 Let's suppose you are putting together a jigsaw puzzle. Do you come to a conclusion regarding what the finished picture will look like without looking at the original picture? Certainly not. It's the same with God's Word. God invites us to study all the texts on a given subject before coming to a conclusion regarding what the Bible teaches on that particular topic. Question 12. What guarantee has Jesus given 
to ensure that as we study the Bible with a sincere heart, we will be led into His truth, John 16, 13. However, when He, the Spirit of truth, has come, He will guide you into all truth, for He will not speak on His own authority. But whatever He hears, He will speak and He will tell you things to come, John 16, 13. As the Holy Spirit leads us into our Bible study, interpreting line upon line and text after text, we will know the truth of God. God has not left us alone in our pursuit of truth. He has promised the Holy Spirit's guidance. Question 13. Who is the central theme of the Bible? John 5.39 You search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life. And these are they that which testify of me, Jesus Christ. John 5, 39. Question 14. What will happen in our lives as we study the precious promises of God's word? 2 Peter 1, 3 and 4. As His divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of Him who called us by glory and virtue. 2 Peter 1, verse 3 by which have been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises, that through this you may be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through last. 2 Peter 1 verse 4 The scriptures testify or bear witness of Jesus. As we study the Bible, the power of the living Christ will transform us. Millions of people throughout history testify of the explosive power of God's Word. As they have studied its pages, they have found an inner peace, a new joy, and life-changing power to overcome undesirable habits. As you continue on this fascinating journey of discovery, you too will discover God's amazing plan for your life and you will experience the secrets of living life to the fullest in the 20th, on the 21st century. My decision, it is my determined purpose to allow the Holy Spirit to shape my life as I open my 